for an undergraduate portfolio specifically, um, we're looking for concepts and ideas. We're obviously looking for those core art and design skills, such as drawing, idea development, and color application, as we would for a foundation. But within the undergraduate, we're looking for project-based work that's relevant to the course of study you want to uh, undertake undergraduate. So we do want to see evidence um, that you can translate those core skills into final projects that are applicable to the undergraduate study uh, that you want to undertake. Um, also undergraduate, we'd like to see an understanding of the current issues and context within the subject that you're interested in. The previous slide showed the furniture and the artist's evaluation, and that really shows the context of what those students were actually interested in. Like foundation, we do want to see the demonstration of the passion for the subject. Um, it's really important um, that you check the specific portfolio requirements for the uh, course of study that you want to undertake, because the portfolio requirements can be quite different for different institutions. So it's really, really important that you um, look at the website, check with your agency representative, and make sure if you're submitting a digital portfolio, that you submit it within the right format, but also that you actually include the right amount of pages within that, because some institutions limit the number of pages you can actually submit within a portfolio. So it's really important um, to remember all those things and check that you're actually uh, submitting the correct format to the in institution you're applying for. So here's some examples of a, a typical undergraduate portfolio. Um, and this was a graphic design student. Um, and as you can see, there's some core drawing skills included um, in the life drawing and the hand drawings. There's then some uh, analysis of typography related to graphic design. Um, the student has explored concepts and ideas um, through looking at sort of digital art and they've made a, sm a small video. Um, and then there's a, some final examples here um, of a magazine project. So as you can see, the student is showing those core skills. They're showing this sort of development using digital and video, and then they've directed a particular project um, to a magazine cover. Um, and that really shows the core skills, the development work, and then the interest in the subject of graphic design and visual communication. Here's some examples of portfolio work for a fashion design. Um, student where you can see the different experimentation and development, the idea uh, development for the garments. And again, you can see the initial research development and final application. Um, and 2D to 3 understanding here has actually been evidenced in this portfolio. A postgraduate portfolio is slightly different in the sense that most students who choose to study at postgraduate level will have done an undergraduate study in a similar subject or the same subject base. Um, but we would expect a much higher level um, of portfolio for entry to postgraduate. Um, again, we're looking for individuality and your personal creative ideas in sketch and ideas books. And again, this is the one thing that lots of people at postgraduate, because they think they're applying for a higher level, that they don't need to include that idea development. But that's really important at postgraduate. So we can see the way that you work through your ideas. We can say, see the way that you, you problem solve. And then lots of times that problem solving skill is actually developed in the sketchbook and development work. We want to see examples of how your concepts and ideas have informed your creative development. So showing your working process is very important at postgraduate so that we can see how that you develop ideas um, and how you select and edit those ideas. Um, we want to see evidence of your individual research methodology and working process. So we really want to see that those problem solving skills within that portfolio. We want to see examples of your technical knowledge and understanding of the specialist subject, because again, for postgraduate application, we have to be able to evaluate your ability to move from undergraduate to postgraduate and that your portfolio is at the right level, level in terms of your technical and specialist subject understanding. 
And we want, also want to see evidence of fully resolved professional creative outcomes related to the subject that you want to study. So for postgraduate level, we're looking for a much higher level. Um, and here's some examples of postgraduate work. You can see the individual creative journey here from this particular student. You can see the initial ideas and the working process. And then here are some of the final outcomes that this particular student has actually produced. So again, you can see the working methodology, the personal development, and then the final application. <coughs> Here's another example of idea development and process. And that process, both at undergraduate, but particularly at postgraduate, is very important. We really want to see how you work through your ideas and processes. Here's another example of a fashion student who's explored a, a wide variety of different techniques and processes and then applied that within a final product outcome. So that process and development is very, very important for all levels of study, but particularly for postgraduate. Um, and it's really important to think about the subject that you want to study and demonstrating that within your portfolio. So for students who are interested in animation, digital media, Demonstrating those skills within your portfolio, if you've developed those skills, are very important. If you're interested in photography, obviously we're going to look much more at your photographic work than necessarily looking at drawing. For fashion students, if you do have final product, it's really good to see it. You don't have to undergraduate, but certainly at postgraduate level, we would actually look to see a final product application within your portfolio of work. 